What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another A to Z of Arc for you guys today and today guys we are taking a look at the Giant B. Now this old lady, she's a, she's a tough one to tame, but she is tameable. Now you guys will find honey, honeycombs? Beehives, that's the right word. You'll find beehives located around the map in various locations. Majority of the time you will find them in the Redwoods. However today we're over on Ragnarok and you can find them over in these uh foothills on the kind of border of the ice biome they are generally scattered around this area so in order to tame up these giant bees first off what you will need is a tame capable of destroying a beehive now here with me today we have a dire bear because these guys are immune to the bee stings you can see here it says in the bottom right hand corner you have some protection from bees you don't necessarily have to use a dire bear you can use uh dimetrodons Tapiharas are a really good one because you generally find beehives in the top of redwood trees um, and you can use tapiharas to go about destroying those. Dimorphodons are also really good because they are quite strong and you can tame them up relatively easy and uh, because you don't mount them you won't worry, have to worry about getting stung off them. But once you've done that what you will then need next is to find a beehive that has drones in it. You can find out if it has drones in it by gathering honey from it which is what we've done here. Uh, the drones will come out and attack you and that is how you know there is a queen inside of there. If drones don't come out and attack you or when you attack the bee beehive then that means that there is no queen in there and they should run away. You can see there we attack the beehive and the drones come out to attack us. If we go up, you can see there it's uh, 3723 health. Now to get the giant queen bee out what you need to do is you need to actually destroy the beehive. So you can see there it's 3,700 health. We're going to whack it a couple more times. We're going to be careful though because this will draw the queen bee out. Now what I would recommend at this stage is making sure you have a full set of ghillie armor equipped as this will negate majority of the bees anger towards you. Make sure you've got some ghillie armor equipped. Make sure you have some bug repellent. Pop that off and then destroy the rest of the beehive. You can see there one more bite should do the trick. And you can see there that the queen bee has now come out of the beehive. Now in order to tame her this is where the fun comes up because it looks like uh, there was actually another beehive there. So you need to be very careful because this is very very glitchy. So you can see there that the queen bee is floating up. Now what we can do is we can actually put some of this honey that we got earlier into our inventory and we can actually throw the honey that way and that will kite the queen bee towards it except it didn't want to work because her drones are coming. There you go, you can see there she's flying out now. This is what you want. So she's kited towards the honey. Now using this actual method you can go about setting up a trap for it. If her drones get towards it, throw another bit of honey. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab a cage here because she is cageable. Jokes, we don't have creative mode. Honestly, this is one of the most annoying tames. Now she has wandered off somewhere. This is the second annoying part, trying to keep track of where the damn queen bee has gone while uh, trying to keep it alive at the same time because there is a bunch of hostile stuff out here that will kill it. Straight up though, where did it go? It's just vanished. Well, I mean, that's how you get the queen bee out. We're going to show you how to trap her. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab a cage here. This is probably the easiest way. You can build uh, bigger traps and stuff like that, but we're going to just build some cages here because these are able to you're able to use these to get the queen bee. So you can see there we've got those open. I don't know where that other one has gone. We're going to try and chuck a bit of honey down, see if she'll come to it. I don't think she will. We're going to put this back on our hotbar here and we're going to throw it in there. See if she is interested in coming back to it. Does not look like it. I don't know where that other queen has gone, but there was another beehive here, so let's find out. We've got our... Honey in the trap down there, which will kite the queen bee towards it. Let's just find out if this is another beehive with bees. It is, so that will mean that there is a queen bee in there. We're going to deactivate creative mode so you guys can see. We're going to kill all these. We're going to kill the beehive. You can see there, there is the queen bee. She's just popped out. Where is she going? No one will know. She is running away. Come back, queen bee. Alrighty, guys. So, we found another beehive here. Now, what you want to do is you want to get it so that... Uh, weak enough so that these drones don't spawn in because they will ruin the tame for you. So what we're going to do, we're going to come over here, we're going to wait for these guys to start uh, to stop despawning in. We're going to pop another giant, uh, sorry, another bug repellent. You can use a trap for these guys. Uh, the trap being one of these sort of traps where uh, you can trap the giant queen bee inside of. It's 
You can make it a couple of ways. You can make it with foundations. You can make it with just the dino frames. What is going on? Like why? Okay, there we go. You can make it with the, the, the dino frame gateways themselves. So that's what we're going to do here real quick. And you can kite in the giant queen bee like this. There we go. You just have to make sure that it's narrow enough that she can't fit through. And I honestly think she will fit through this. So I've already stuffed up the trap, which is wonderful. Uh, if that's the case, we're just gonna... That's gonna be some dodgy-ass work. Let's just put some pillars down here. There we go. And you can... And you can put the pillars down. You can see here, we'll chuck them down here. And this should stop her from getting through the, uh, the gateway's door frames. But it'll also stop us getting through, so that's fine. Doesn't really matter. That's gonna be more than enough. Alright, we're gonna grab our tappy here because this is a higher one up. I would recommend a tappy... Or some Dimorphodons, you just got to make sure this bastard lands, otherwise you're going to be here for a century and a half. The trap is very far away from the beehive, which is what I'm worried about. But if we come up here, we attack it, the queen bee will spawn in. You can see there, she's flying away. You do need to keep an eye on her, because she's just going to fly out of your distance. She just doesn't stop flying. Honestly, these are one of the most annoying tames to, uh, to tame. You can see there, she's squirting out little babies. So we're going to come here, we're going to jump off. We're going to whistle that, and we're going to whistle passive. We're just going to follow the queen, we're going to crouch... We're going to get our mudden back in. There we go. You can see she's there. We currently don't have the aggro of the bees because we are crouching. So the moment we get the bees, that's when the problems shizers will arise because we won't be able to tame her. But you can see there, as long as the bees stay de-aggroed off you, you are able to tame up the giant queen bee. Once you've tamed her up, all you need to do is hit E on her, kill all the drone bees, you'll get a beehive. You can place this beehive anywhere. You won't be able to pick it up though, so make sure that uh, you won't put it in a good spot. You can demolish it and it will give you the queen bee back, which you can obviously once again then cryo, or you can just hit E, get another beehive, and you can set that up wherever you want. Now, uh, if you are having trouble with the bee, uh, you can set up this trap. If you're doing it with trees, all you need to do is swap this out for a giant hatch frame in the top, and that'll allow the bee to fall down once you break open its hive. Like I said, make sure you leave your tame behind, otherwise you will have problems with the drones constantly aggroing on you. Make sure you bring your ghillie armor and your bug repellent, so that the drone bees do not attack you, as that will help drastically as well. Uh, but once you've got your beehive, you can pretty much then use all the honey that it generates for various recipes throughout pretty much all of Ark. You can use it for extraordinary kibble, you can use it for sweet veggie cakes as a taming aid because die bears and megatheriums will uh, eat it. You can also use it as a distraction as well because this actually enables you to kite creatures to certain ways, the way they react to honey. So that's really good as well. One thing you do need to be aware of though is if you do decide to access the beehive, you will need to do so with bug repellent and a full set of ghillie. That will enable you not to take any damage when, ac uh, when accessing the beehive. As well as that, keep it stocked up with rare flowers, as uh, rare flowers will fill up the beehive with all the nutrients that it needs to continuously produce honey. If you don't fill it up with rare flowers, the health will drop and it will eventually despawn, resulting in you just being left with your queen bee, which you can obviously pick up again and obtain as another beehive. So guys, that's going to be it for the giant bee today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I will catch you in the next one.